hello again welcome back in uh, this video we are going to talk about proton pump inhibitors ppi in the previous video we talked about medication classification and the suffix uh, you are welcome with uh, it's this is my email asraobed at gmail.com and i'm a registered nurse and we are going to talk today about ppi so ppi which is proton pump inhibitor okay proton pump inhib in sorry inhibitors okay what are proton pump inhibitors okay um so proton pump inhibitors proton pump inhibitors are medications who are uh, which are used to reduce reduce the production of acid of acid in the stomach or by blocking the enzyme uh, in the wall of the stomach okay let's draw it for example this is the esophagus and this is the the stomach okay this is the stomach the walls the inner walls of the stomach have enzymes that secrete acid okay this acid if it is secreted in a big 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 and large amount it will go up like reflux because of that we say it's reflu it will make reflux reflux okay to what this is the nose and like that sorry for the bad drawing this is the mouse right okay so this will make reflux the acid will come here and you will feel heartburn heart burn sorry for my bad handwriting okay so your doctor will order for you some medications like omeprazole for example rizic rantag which is rizic same all right so this medication will reduce the the secretion of acid in the stomach if you want to think about it in general if the acid reduced in the stomach this will make it low this will minimize the amount of acid that is going up this will eliminate heartburn this will eliminate some ulcers ulcers no more ulcers no more ulcers in the duodenal or the, in the esophagus or in the stomach itself okay some doctors or the most most doctors we can say they order omeprazole or and ppis they order ppis with with antibiotics why because antibiotics make ulcers lead to ulcers ulcers because of that it's very important to take omeprazole and usually it is taken before meal at early morning before you eat anything morning I want to tell you some notes never ever take omeprazole even if the doctor told you never ever t take omeprazole or any PPI for a long life never take it 10 years for example or one year for example because there is very bad side effect for it which we call it the intra um, indications 
The bad side effects of omeprazole is um, that it make osteoporosis. 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 Osteoporosis, which is your bones weaken weakness of bones. Also, um, taking it for a long time will will make a low absorption of vitamin B. Low absorption. Low absorption of vitamin B12. Also, it will make low levels of magnesium. Also, it makes a heart attack. This make clots in the blood and make heart attack. It will reduce the function of liver and kidneys. I want to tell you now about the suffix. The suffix of PPI. The suffix of PPI is oprazole. So, if you see any medication that end or begin with this suffix, then you know that it is a PPI. And you know that PPI have side effects, which are these side effects. Okay. It's very simple. You just need to know the suffix and you need to know the medication classification and put in mind the side effects of this medication classification. I will give you another uh, side effects of PPIs. For example, uh, it, it, it reduces the breakdown of drugs by the liver. For example, if your doctor give if you have any problem in your liver, and your doctor gives you uh, medications that are related to, to PPI, then this medications will lower the absorption of the medication that you are taking for your liver. So be careful of this. Um, I want you to know that um, PPI medications also increase the concentration increase the concentration of sedatives 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 are medication classification of um, some medications uh, which which work on uh, the brain like valium okay uh, also, it uh, increases the concentration of warfarin, which is anticoagulant. For example, it increases the concentration of uh, dilantin. Dilantin. Dilantin, which is a uh, medication uh, that is uh, given for patients with uh, epilepsy. Epilepsy. Also, it uh, decreases the effect of Plavix, which is anticoagulant. Okay. Um, also some side effects of uh, PPIs like Rysic for example it make headache it make vomiting uh, it make um, uh, constipation or diarrhea uh, it may lead to col uh, clostridium deficit in the colon which is a kind of diarrhea that is caused by a bacteria called clostridium deficit um, this is very important to know. For example, some people take uh, take a medication which is omeprazole, for example, and then they have a severe diarrhea or vomiting. You need to be sure, even if omeprazole is given to protect your stomach, but it leads sometimes to vomiting and diarrhea. So stop it. Uh, now let's talk about the interactions of some medications with PPIs. Do you remember that I talked in the previous videos about um, medication in incompatibility? Uh, medication on incompatibility, it's one of them is when you mix two medication together, it will make an interaction. So um, I want you to know that uh, if you give uh, a medication if your doctor for example order omeprazole and another medication 
uh, called digoxin. Digoxin. This digoxin medication will be uh, higher in absorption if it is given with BPIs. Digoxin if, is given in uh, in atrial fibrillation, in atrial fibrillation, in which is a heart condition, and I will talk about it in the uh, coming videos. Uh, also, another drug which is uh, nizoral. Nizoral, when nizoral is given with PPIs, it will make an interaction. Nizoral is uh, a fungal infection. is given for fungal infections. When it is given with PPI, the absorption of nizoral will be lower. So maybe you will not be cured from your fungal infection. Okay, so be careful with the interaction it's very important uh, good luck in studying ppi and uh, next time we will talk about another medication classification